It's new time. We are working developing news on a major mob bust. A longtime reputed mafia captain, alleged soldier, and two reputed associates all arrested by Rhode Island's Organized Crime Task Force. All four men are allegedly associated with La Cosa Nostra, one of the largest crime organizations in the world. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story first on WPRI.com. He is live now inside the U.S. Attorney's Office in Providence. Danielle Patrick, this is a significant bust and a significant blow to organized crime here in New England. In all, four associates or members, reputed associates or members of the New England mob were busted in the last 24 hours. This case, as we're learning right now, is an extension of the one that's pending against the reputed former mob boss, Luigi Baby Shacks Medacchio. Now, the biggest name to get busted in this latest round is Edward Eddie Leto. Prosecutors identified him as a mob captain or a capo regime in the Patriarca crime family. Just getting out of court moments ago, we learned that he's facing five counts. They are RICO conspiracy, extortion conspiracy, and traveling in the aid of racketeering. Now, part of the indictment says that Leto received protection payments from area strip clubs. Now, if that sounds familiar to you, that's because those are the same circumstances against Luigi Minacchio. Also charged beside Leto, reputed mob soldier Alfred Chippy Scavola, alleged mob associate Raymond Jenkins, and alleged mob associate Albino Focarelli. We just learned that Chippy Scavola was just heard up in court and he is being held right now. Now, Leto is also being held pending a detention hearing next week. The other defendants are working their way through the court as we speak. Interestingly, in court, prosecutors said that Leto was spotted by investigators meeting with other members of organized crime in the Massachusetts area in recent days. The U.S. Attorney's Office will hold a press conference at 1.30 this afternoon. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.